Hello year 5, how are you? Hope you are fine. Uh, I miss you all. Here is we are going to start a new unit, unit 8, lesson 1. This is the part 1 video. Uh, get your learner's book, active book and uh, copy book ready on the table to start this lesson. Learner book page number 110 to 111 and active book page number 88 to 89. So unit 1, lesson 1, we are going to talk about the weather and climate. Here are the learning objective, listening, listen for information, listen and careful and classify. Speaking practice theme vocabulary, speak about extreme weather condition. Reading, read about extreme weather condition. Extreme means uh, it, like it's too severe, heavy. Writing, write about extreme weather conditions. These are the vocabulary words, flood, tornado, blizzard. Drought, typhoon, sandstorm, heavy, high, severe, torrential, strong, violent weather collocations. Here, blizzard means you know with the snow. You have a snow, uh, snow, too much snow of uh, like this, and torrential is very like severe, heavy rainfall. Like. So let's talk about the, what the weather do you think like today it is. Go check the weather outside and tell me. And what's weather like the city or region in different season? What do you have a weather in different city and regions? Do you think the weather is changing? Yes. Why? So why? Are humans responsible? I'm sure I think from my point of view, the humans are responsible changing of weather. It's a global warming. It is not summertime, it's summer, sometimes it's the winter, in winter season, summertime it's, uh, and there is no rains, um, it's very less rainfalls because we are responsible for it. We have a too much, creating too much pollution, we're, we're cutting down the trees, I think uh, this is the reason why there's a global warming all over the world. So let me see what do you think from point of view, send me the video on the class dojo. So now take out your learner's book, activity one, talk about it. Learner's book, page number 110. In this, have you experienced extreme weather condition? Like in your life, did you experience any, there was very heavy rainfall, did you experience with the uh, uh, winds, uh, uh, like if there was a tornado, anything that you have, floods, experiences, then how do you think you protect yourself at that time? How did you protect yourself? Uh, you can just, Record some video and send it on the class dojo, please. Now, let's get back to learner's book, page number 100, activity 2, word study. In this, match the words with the pictures. Now, you have A, B, C, D, E, F. And there are the words in the box like flood, tornado, blizzard, drought, typhoon, sandstorm. Which picture do you think uh, it is a flood? It, whether it is picture A, picture B, a picture C, a picture D. Just you can take out your pencil and write it down about this, like flood. In which one do you think it's a flood? It is A, B, C or D. It is D. You're right. So just write down up if you can write down uh, the answers. So once you finish, please check the answers in the second slide, okay? Uh, whether which one is uh, what, just write down up. It will be easy for you. So let's go to next. Just check one, try to do it by yourself. Then you go to the next slide to check. Now, please get your activity book, page number 88, vocabulary. Record the letters in the pictures and the label types of the weather. With the picture, they have given even what kind of picture it is. So, the words are here and there, but you have to write in the correct order, okay? Uh, it, the first picture is word, flood. So, you, they have already given you flood. Now, second picture, what do you think? It's, it's, uh, it's, uh, uh, Tornado, it's a blizzard, whether it is a sandstorm, whether it is a, what do you think in the second picture? So write down in the correct words, form the correct letters, okay? Just if you finish, try to do it and check your answers in the next slide. So now get back to learner's book, page number 110, activity 3, listen. 
In this, you need to listen CD2 track 13. Listen and match the each picture with the speaker. There are speaker who are going to speak and you need to match to the pictures in activity one. You're going to match it. What he's talking about, like speaker one, he's, if I tell you now speaker one, which weather is talking about? He's talking about the sandstorm, whether he's talking about the blizzard, whether he's talking about the typhoons. What do you think? What he's talking about? So now listen carefully. I'm going to read one by one. Speaker one, I live in Khadr. It's dry and warm here, but sometimes it's extremely windy as well. We call this sand strong, shaboobs. Once I was in the car with my dad traveling home from school when I saw a wall of sand through the back window of our car. Dad thought it was traveling at about 80 kilometers per hour. So we quickly found somewhere to stop indoors before the storm hit. It, it, it lasted for three hours and covered everything with sand. Speaker 2. I live in Canada and during the winter months we have lots of heavy snow and strong winds called blizzards. Last year it snowed for a whole week without stopping which is quite normal where I live. Our car was completely covered in snow and we have to use a shovel to make a part through the snow out of our front door. We had no electricity for two days either so we had to light candles in the evening so we could see. Now speaker 3. I am from Taiwan. In Taiwan, we have a violent storms called typhoons. In other parts of the world, they are called hurricanes or cyclones. We are used to see storms. We can get three uh, to four typhoons a year. The high winds and heavy rains cause a lot of damage to buildings and sometimes cause flash flooding. So it's best to stay indoors until the storm has finished. Now speaker four. I am from Bangladesh. Severe flooding in my country is very common, especially in the monsoon season. This happens in the summer. When we get most of our rainfall, the problem is we get torrential rain and then we get flooding. Last month, a nearby village was flooded. A lot of people lost their homes and animals. The roads were flooded with water, so cars, couldn't get to the village and schools and shops were closed. Now I finished reading now. Did you listen everything? Now write down what the speaker, uh, speaker was talking, which weather is talking about. So I want the answer write down in the copy book and please send me the picture. And once you finish, please check your answer in the next slide. So let's go to an activity for learners book page number 111. Now read the weather fact box below. Can you remember which facts are true or false? Listen again and check your answers. Now here, do you remember from what uh, we uh, I read you in the speak one, speaker two, speaker three? What? They were talking whether the facts are true or false. You need to say whether they are true or false. The strandstorm can travel at about 80 kilometers. It was true. Yes. Very good, it is true. Now, next of the answer, if you can listen again, get back to activity three and listen again and get the answer true or false. Once you finish, please correct your answers in the next slide. Now, activity five, word study, learner's book, page number 111. Here, Check the words below in your dictionary and complete the sentences. More than one exit might be possible for some sentences. Now, you have the uh, words in the box, heavy, high, severe, torrential, strong, violent. Now, if you read a blizzard is a dash snow storm. So what do you think is the answer? Which one you're going to choose for number one? So you'll choose severe, you're right. So I want you to write down, complete the sentences, okay? Complete the sentence using the correct word from the box and fill up this box. I'll give you number two also example. 
dash rain and dash winds are experienced during a hurricane hurricane so first one what will be the answer heavy yes you're right and next will be high heavy or it can be torrential and uh, it can be high and strong also you can choose any two uh, this two also it can be more than one also in this so please write it down and check the answers in the next slide 